everybody. I'm doing a Sephora haul today. And not quite a haul. Maybe a very, very, very small haul. I ordered a lot of things off of the sale. And never ordered from Sephora before. So I kind of wanted to do the sale items first. You know, see if I even like this the situation at all, you know, delivery times and all that. I don't have a Sephora store real close to me, so I have to order offline. And I must have missed all the emails for it, but apparently most of my order had been dis sold out on those items, so I didn't get charged for them, but I didn't get them. And when I got home and I seen this big Sephora box, I was excited until I opened it up and then I went searching for those emails and found that out. Anyways, I got a little bit upset with that, but then I was like, okay, everything happens, you know. Sometimes these it's a sale. You know, they're gonna sell out quick. That's fine. Well, what I do have in the box is I have the Sephora Micro Smooth Honey Heat Baked Bronzer. Now this one made me a little upset because I've been watching those dumpster diver YouTubers going into like Ulta and all that and pulling stuff out and then talking about how they go in and scratch out the middle or something. Well, when I got this one, this is how it looked in the middle. I was like, ooh, no. But, you know, I don't say anything bad you know I understand what those dumpster driver youtubers are doing they're saving product and everything else you know I understand stores should mark it down to one or two dollars if they're willing to throw it out and ruin it is they're doing all that they still make money off of one or two dollars but that's the color it is it does blend in pretty decently I do have it on my face don't mind the monster after doing vlogs and videos for the past couple weeks and trying on everything my face has reacted to it but you know that's a good thing I get to learn this stuff alright the next thing I got was the Sephora colorful glitter palette in fairy princess I love purple I love glitter you know I'm not really a girly girl but I think deep down inside I, I am but that's what it looks like and I do love their little little slash thing in there their little Sephora mark in there that's cool but I do have this on my eyes right now and that's what it looks like it's very purple and glittery. I have glitter everywhere. <laughs> I will learn how to fix that. But I did also, that was all the products I could get from my list. Because everything else sold out. But I did get my samples. Which you can get free, five free samples when you order. I think there's a certain amount you've got to order. Okay, that was just the box. I'd have to look into that. I forgot to put that in my notes. Um, but that's fine. Got five free samples to try out. Things I've never tried before, so that's a good thing. We all like learning if we like the product or not, and it's better to get in a sample and get it for free. All right, this I tried the other day, and a friend's friend brought me over her sample. Never had a chance to really try in this stuff. She didn't want it because she, I don't know. She don't like lip scrubs. But this is a sugar lip treatment perfecting wand, and I think I gave her my sample by accident because I still have this one. But anyways, it looks like that. 
when you get the actual full one, it looks like that, and the full price for that one is $24. Might be worth it. It was pretty nice. Your sample also comes with, if I can get it out, didn't have this problem when I was getting it out without the camera on. But anyways, it comes with this little brush. A little weird little brush. And I guess that's kind of what's on the tip of the full size one. That was kind of nice. I didn't have to put my dirty fingers all over my lips. And because it's like plastic, well at least this one, I can wash this one. I don't know about the other one, which that kind of concerns me. If the other one is not something you can actually wash, then you're reapplying germs over and over again. It's gross. Didn't taste too bad. I wouldn't suggest licking it off your lips. I don't know if it's possible if you can, but I accidentally tasted it. It had sugar on it. <laughs> Uh, I also did get this sample. It's Makeup Forever Professional Paris Artist Plexi Gloss. That's what the outside looks like. And those are the insides. I haven't tried these out yet, but I will because I like trying stuff. Never know what you're going to get. Don't mind the rumbling. That is my belly. I also got the Makeup Forever Artist Acrylip? I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Make some normal words, people. That's, you get three shades in that. They're not bad sized shades. I mean, I can probably get a couple days uses out of that. And I don't apply a whole lot to my lips, so I mean, this could last me a second to make that decision. I also got the Lips in Full Effect 3D Lip Plump Fix Needles No More Dr. Brandt, the AM and PM little sample. I haven't tried the PM, but I did put on the AM and I felt the tangles. I don't see no difference. Maybe it was a bad sample batch. But that one cost $39. Oh. This uh Krilla lip. If you buy the full size of it, it is 24. If you buy the full size of the Artist Plexi Gloss. It's 19. And I will feed you after this. And the last sample I got, looks pretty big, is the Dor Dor Dio Rouge Dor Rouge, the new lipstick. And I have this one on my lips right now. I don't know. If you can see it, my light's crappy in here because every light seemed to be shining very, very brightly. And I can't go out to my office because it's snowing and my office is in the barn. I am not going out there when it's snowing. But anyways, this right here, just for a lipstick, is like $35.